we have a new mod on our Ragnarok PvP and um, I'm not great at it but I have built everything and I wanted to show you in a quick summary of what it is. Uh, one of the players suggested we put it on as a mod and it is really a great mod. I love it. So I started out on the island realizing not that it wasn't loaded there. So we are over here now on Ragnarok PvP, our server. We have three of them. So let's get going. Um, I was thinking maybe of building a new little place, tiny little place, uh, just for uh, the pieces. So uh, let's think about that. Okay, I'm um, not quite sure whether we should just do it right here or if we should do it somewhere else. We probably could just do it right here. So many cool things, so I'd like to make a little house with it. You know, cute little house. Although I don't know where we would do it. Oh, we could do it down there. That would be pretty, huh? Just right under there. I wonder if you could do that. I don't see why not. It'd be kind of a cute little place. Why not? Okay. So... Um, the first thing we have to do is go get pieces of the floor. So let's see if we have a foundation here. We have glass foundations and metal foundations. And we need walls. I am going to go ahead, oh my gosh, 1,600 pounds. Holy smokes. Okay. I had to make two new, three new characters actually, two for the island and one for here. My, they were so messed up, I just started over from scratch and it worked out really well. I'll be ready. I will be ready. Okay, um, so let's go here. It's a lot of, uh, 1,600 pounds for a wall. Ooh, 100 metal walls. Which I can't even imagine that we would use that many, but. You never know. Now I'm building. Uh oh. Sometimes I forget to go into the data. Arc data. So, got some foundations. We're going to need. Uh, let's take some doors. It's always nice to have a door. Door. We're going to need the glass double door frames. So that means we're going to need ex just regular walls, huh? Let's take um, some windows. I guess we'll have to take a trap door. Huh. Let's see, trap. Do we have any metal? Oh, it's not under trap, it's under hatch. Okay, so we have one hatch frame and one glass window to go in it. Okay, do we have any, um, uh, let's see, we're going to need some ladders to get up it. No ladders. Oh, yeah, we have ladders. Huh. Who knew? I did not knew it. Alrighty, um, so, and then I'm just going to need some walls. So we're going to need uh, three, six, nine plain walls. So I'm just going to take a couple of these. Alright, that should about do it. And then we'll just get some ceilings. And, ah! I'm usually so careful. Yesterday, all it said was, is I was freezing. And now today, it's, it keeps saying I'm overheated. So, you never, you know, can't second guess it. Why? Okay, so here's the ceiling, eight metal ceilings. Uh, we're really going to need more than that, aren't we? Well, I guess we could make 
glass ceilings. I'm not going to take the time to make ceilings just for a little place that we're going to be doing. Or not, you know, just for fun. And uh, let's see here. Let's get this. Okay, so we have ammo. Okay, so I put the step for it over here. Yep, that's it. It's just A A yeah, A A stuff. Okay, so uh, refrigerated chemistry bench, a spoiling bin, an automatic grill. Oops, we don't need that. Second one, auto grill. I'm, I made a lot of double things: cauldron, oil drum, uh, turret. Genie, fertilizer, silo, refrigerated troughs, uh, dehydrators, egg incubator, uh, a couple of vaults for our stuff. Now we'll take some refrigerators and freezers because they're so cute. Um, Smithicator compost bin. I haven't tried that one yet. Egg crate. I'll take two of them. Okay, so Smithicator top, of course. Oh, and then the workbench. Snail collector. A grinder. That one, um, I have to tell you that grinder didn't work out as good as I thought it was going to, but that's okay. So if we are missing anything, we can always make it back here. So let's go. Building help. I have never tried these. I don't know what they are. So we will. A vault remote. Ooh, that's so cool. Oh, my golly. What am I thinking? And then, to top it all off, we have a generator that you don't need anything but gas. It's a wireless. It's a million gas. Uh, I don't think I made the gas here, did I? Uh, I think it's over at the other place. So let's get a something that's. Uh, oh. Huh? Where's the one I usually have on? Why did I mark it on? Don't tell me I lost it somewhere. I'm going to be really upset if I lost my day off or done someplace. Uh, we'll just take you. You're a 301. Okay. Alrighty. here and check you out uh, just take a couple of pieces of meat okay and then uh, let's um Wow. That's a lot. Okay, so I wanted to take something that while we're working on the ground, we're not going to get eaten. Nope. So we'll take you. And you guys are great. Here's a 7. And 28. And 26. 28. Three thousand melee. Oh, thirty-three hundred melee. Okay, we'll take you. <laughs> we'll take you. Oh, and we have pink legs. How cute! You match. All right, so um, 
Let's go over to the uh, temporary north coast base outside. I took all my uh, everything out from inside. All my stargates are in the water here. So, uh, taking you and uh, right. So I'm hoping they go through. I hope that they're not they're not on uh, like some really. Let's take uh, the Akatina paste. Uh, oh my gosh, I don't want any of the organic poly. I want the Akatina paste. Ah, it's still, I'm 600 pounds over with Akatina paste? Wow. Wow. Then let's uh, just take some. <laughs> Who knew, huh? Oh my gosh, I don't have any food or water. I don't know if I have any over there at that other base. So let's. Go oh, this is the one that I have to crawl through. It's so crazy. Fertilized eggs, cooked, cooked meat. Do they have cooked meat? Oh, we do. Okay. And I'm too heavy. You're kidding. Oh, gosh. It's going to be one of those days. Huh? 89 pounds and I'm too heavy. Oh. Let's go and get a. Must be a canteen or something around here. Okay. Canteen. No canteen. No. Okay. I had taken out most of the stuff from where we're going to be going. I don't know. It just happens. Sometimes you get overzealous and think, oh, this is the end-all great base of the world. And then all of a sudden you realize that it is not. Okay, so I need a regular spyglass. And I need a canteen. So I'm just going to type it in up here just in case there is one. Oh, or four or five. Okay. And then I also need a, um, have a regular spyglass. Super spike, regular spike glass. All right. And I have ammo and I have food, and now I have to fill up my canteen with water. So let's go over here. Oh, of course, the water is going to be over there. Where's the water? The water quit running. Wow. Hmm. Okay, so canteen's got to be at the bottom, right? There we go. Canteen and then a little bit of cooked meat. We should be ready to go. Oh, I have 34 lights on me. Ugh. Jeez Louise. No wonder. Yeah. I was lighting up everything last night. Now I'm like, well, why'd I do that? Okay, I'm pretty, pretty organized. Not perfect, but pretty organized. Let's try it again. Here we go. Okay. And I'm going to go pick up our animals and Go build at my old base. I decided I'm not going to be in the new base. Uh oh. There they are. Okay, so if this will. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Here they come. Everybody ready? Everybody's in. Okay, so perfect. This is perfect. Uh, I haven't been doing much over here at all. We already have a tech bench set up. And uh, kick some gas. Look at all the charcoal I made. And I'm making uh, bullets today. Well, turning. I everybody had they had like 100 200,000 wood you know so I'm gonna make the things over again just for you guys so in my inventory in my uh, crafting um, let me see if I can just put all this in here without it blowing up on me. Stalling us for a while. There we go. All right. Um, this is the new Smithicator. It is a smithy with a fabricator on it. The back. Uh, I was making bullets and I ran out of gunpowder. Oh, this is this, this is the point where we stop <laughs> because it didn't like me loading all that stuff in at once. Yes, that's uh, until my hands start moving again, we're not going anywhere. Oh, hmm. just in time to get a quick sip of water. You guys have to remember, I am still having surgeries for <clears throat> a complicated gallbladder removal. That is so silly to me. Ah, I am keeping my old S Plus stuff in here. I really don't want to um, not have it. So let's start here and we'll get ourselves a Smithicator. Chemistry bench, smithy cater top, spoiling bin, oil drum, auto grill, veggie crate, grinder. We already went through this, I know. Snail collector. Oh, let's get that canteen back. Um, spyglass is supposed to be in number five, so it is now in number five. The refrigerator. We'll only take two. Uh-huh. Yeah, it'll be easier to do it in here. Boy, it'll be way easier. Okay, uh, silo and a turret. And um, there's my food. Where is the dehydrator? Here it is. It's a dehydrator. I haven't tried the compost bin yet, so that's going to be a fun thing. Okay, so we're going to go upstairs. And... There is only a bird up here. So the bird is going to be flying down here. And plop right there. Okay. So up here we have a area that we're gonna pretend like we just built. Okay, we just built this, guys. So we're going to start over here, I guess. Um, and we will put down our snail collector. I have never seen it. I don't know what it looks like. We don't have snails over here, but if you live near the swamp or, huh. So in here it says, gathers Ocatina paste from the ground and inventory and places them inside the bin. We might have to go get us some snails to check it out. How cool is that? If we were over uh, in the swamp, it'd be busy. You could probably put it in the swamp just on a foundation and leave it and have tons of Akatana paste in a couple of days. You know, I mean, it's kind of, kind of nice. Okay, so then um, 
Here is a fertilizer silo. I have one already set up over here uh, uh, at uh, my other base. But in here, what it does is we'll pull the fertilizer. Oh, that's all the fertilizer we have, isn't it? And fill the crops. All the crops already put. What's going on here? I must have one someplace else, huh? It's got to be another one in here because, of course, there is. They're everywhere. What's in here? It is in here. That's it's already working. Okay, so these guys are already working away. Yeah. And what they do is they take. So you have a Jones fertilizer maker. As soon as my uh, computer wants to work. Oh, come on, guys. Don't be like this today. It's real laggy. Everybody's getting ready for our, our aberration. So, where is it? Oh. So. <clears throat> this is a big place, by the way. So, we're just going to run down here. And run down here. And run over here. And run up here. <laughs> here we go. Now, over here, I have a uh, poop collector. And then I have a little uh, fertilizer maker. And I should have a comp. And here's a compost bin. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in the new compost bin upstairs. And I don't know if it takes that or not. I don't know anything about it. Usually I have a thatch in there. And then the silo just takes it from it. But let's put down this cool looking... Um, where does that thing go? Compost bin. I can't wait to see what it is. It comes with its own flies. Okay, so what does it say? It says, puts poop in dung beetles, collects, oh, they spelled it wrong. That's the first time I've ever seen it. Uh, collects poop from the ground and thatch to make fertilizer, pushes the fertilizer to the silo. It's an all one time deal. So I'm going to have to have thatch somewhere located on the premises for it, right? Okay. We can do that. All right. Um, so we're going to pretend like this is our house over here. And we're going to put down the Smithicator. Smithicator. The nice thing is, none of this runs, not very much of it anyway, runs on power. Okay, so here's your smithy, like normal. It's got more stuff on it. It's got little electronics, uh, boards, weapon, ammo. I guess some kind of a, something you'd wear. Everything that you would make in a smithy. Propelled rockets. Oh, some of this. Oh, and a turret. Okay, so some of it is going to be for the um, the fabricator part. And then we're just going to put on the smithicator top. And um, there you go. Now this actually needs power. And here we go. We're going to have our power. Aye, aye, aye. So the first thing we're going to need to do, did I bring, let's see what I brought. Did I brought anything at all? I don't know. I thought I did. Oh, I only brought building stuff. I didn't bring all the stuff for it. Hmm. Uh -huh. Well then, let's just go down. We're going to be running up and down for a minute, so I wouldn't get too excited. 
So let's get our, uh, we need a storage. So let's get a generator, a cauldron. We don't have one of those yet. Generator. Here's some uh, spark powder. We can pull all that. Uh, here's a tiny bit of thatch. I wonder if it'll pull from that far. Well, that's an interesting question. I know I just got gas. Maybe some more. Oh, I don't need gas. Yeah, I didn't need gas. Uh. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm like, uh. La 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 la. Well, how come I don't have any? Did I put all these down already? These are the vaults, you guys. These are so cute, huh? Okay, so let's just pick up a vault for ourselves. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Okay, so now we have a couple of vaults for our new house. And um, I need a... So what, do I have any workbenches left? No, I don't. So how do I make a workbench? Oh, you have to craft it on you. And all you need is hide and wood. Oh, how easy is that? So we must have hide and wood in here, right? We have wood. Do we hide? Oh, here's the vault. I just didn't type it in. I'm really bad at that, by the way. Um, no hiding there. No hiding. Nope, not there. Oh, nope, not there. Oh, not there. Well, <clears throat> let's see if there's any anywhere. Uh, hide. Oh, 620,000. Boy, look at all the ones on the, the animals. There's plenty of hide. Okay, so now let's craft ourselves our little workbench. Okay, so we're going to craft one. And we can walk while we're moving it. And I'll bring that. I'm fascinated to see if that can pull that far. An interesting thing about this uh, utility program here is that sometimes it tells you rename, set pin, just able thatch pulling. Now, sometimes it tells you the area. Oh, it does pull it. Look. Okay, 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 good deal. Okay, so let's go over here. We're pretending like we have a house here. Um, I'm going to put down my uh, storage vault. And the storage vaults, they, I think you could put like four of them on a square. See, they automatically stick to a, uh, The corners. Now if it's like this and you wanted to have the the front in the front you press Q or E. So here is E and then if it's like sometimes let's see Q. Oh Q changes it around to the different parts of the square. Okay got it. Okay, so E just turns it around so you can see it. And then E. Okay. Ah! And um, they slam up against each other, which is just the coolest thing in the world. Uh, and, of course, when it slams, it slams wrong. So Q, turn it around. Okay, and now we're going to put the generator in the corner over here, I'm kind of out of the way. Let's get the generator going. 
it doesn't snap like the rest, but it does need a foundation. Isn't it pretty? Boy, not that doesn't look like it's otherworldly. Something that, you know, very nice. Okay, so here's the gas, and then it activate power. It doesn't say turn on anymore. It says activate. Look. Look at that. Okay. It's activating the power. And then it also has the cool option of saying, um, show the range. So it's going to have, uh, see, look at, so it's only going to go over here to half, right to here. So you'd have to kind of build within like a one square area. So let's put down no problem. Ah! Where are you? Oh number nine. I switched them around accidentally. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so let's get the arc data out of here. Wow. Alright. And there's no creatures, right? Okay. And then in here, I can move all the glass and the metal. Oh yeah, I have to check myself. Water and food. And then have a little food. And drink a little water. Okay. And then... Um, then let's get these, uh, did I bring any short walls? Yeah, I brought a couple of short walls. Let's put them in uh, number nine here. And that is. Okay, so, um, Push nine didn't work. Oh, here it is. Okay, so it's just about to there. And then it comes out to about, doesn't even go to that corner. It goes here to this corner. Of course, it's you know, not round here, so. And then it goes out more. So we can kind of put everything in this little area right here. And then come over here and turn this. Uh, I, you know, I like the generator generator because you can put, you know, the wiring in the floor and everything. But for this application, is fantastic. Okay, then um, it'll say top if it is the top. The interesting thing is you cannot pull anything unless you have something selected. Anything. It doesn't matter whether it's in the inventory part It'll give you the, you know, the option here to pull. But if it's empty, you have to put something in. No matter what it is, like a refrigerator that is totally empty, you have to put, like, a flour in it or an egg. It doesn't matter what, as long as it goes in a refrigerator. And here we are. We're going to be pulling um, the charcoal. Let's pull some charcoal out of the forge. And I don't know if I have any more spark powder. We might have to go spark powder hunting. Um, we'll just take it all. And then over here in crafting. Oh, this is the difference. You have to have your backspace on. Okay. Um, see, 
is powered turn off you have to do that from out here remember on a regular one if you go inside it gives you the option and always says you know down here turn on well that that's not going to happen here and I'm in the wrong one I need to be in the this is the one that uses them this is the one that uses the gunpowder it's already done gunpowder and the ants oh my golly that's a lot of stuff okay and then Now we can craft. Okay, so we can craft about 600 bullets. So we need um, It's a chemistry bench. It's a mortar. Uh, the chemistry bench. Okay, so let's make a door here. This is a good door. Okay, so we're going to need a chemistry bench right here. And it's um, most everything is refrigerated, which is amazing because, like, the trough, the, the meat hardly ever spoils or anything. Okay, so see, it says turn on. You have to turn it on from the outside. Okay, now. <laughs> now we're going to pick something. <clears throat> I am telling you, it is the worst thing in the whole entire world to uh, feel um, bad. Like, you know, like you're not feeling well. Ugh. But you have to have a good attitude. This is another problem. It doesn't pull like I believe it should. You know, this stuff is right here. Why isn't it pulling it? I think it's because it's turned on. I'm not quite sure why. But I know that if I put down, um, I wonder if both of these are used. No, this one isn't, okay. Because sometimes it pulls it and sometimes it doesn't. It seems like it doesn't pull it when it's working. Uh, this mod was made for a different arc. So uh, let's get all the uh, spark powder. Out of here. And put it in here. In a stupid way to show you, but I believe that it'll pull it from the crafting bench station. So let's see here. Will it pull it? Uh, push something, get this, go down and find spark powder. Yeah, see, I don't think it lets you pull from something that's working. Here's the gunpowder one. Which I think is kind of sad. You know, you're right in the middle of doing something. You have to go around and be frustrated with uh, <clears throat> something like this issue here. So I'm just going to get you here. And I'm just going to stick you in the corner. And since you have a long distance that you can pull, I'll just push it right here. It'll be our pulling machine for the time being until we can figure it out. Okay, uh, also, um, I wanted to show you the cauldron. 
Uses electricity to make all recipes very quickly, does not require a water source, and can be used as a water source. I tried to find the uh, where you could use it as a water source. Uh, if you turn it on, uh, turn off, oh, drink water. <gasps> oh, it has to be turned on. You can't, you can't, oh, isn't that amazing? You can drink water out of something that doesn't have a water source. And I think that it has all the, um, yeah, it has all your colors. It has all your kibble, everything that you need for it. Cook meat, fiber. You don't have any second guessing like uh, in a regular, um, you know, uh, tank, uh, industrial cooker. And look at this, Wervin formula. Battle tartar, focal chili, fria curry, uh, raw mutton, and sweet vegetable cakes. And here you make your sweet vegetable cake, your battle tartar. Everything's right in here. I mean, battle tartar is prime meat, blue flowers, long grass, citronol, stimulant. I mean, things that you have on hand. Isn't that insane? It's just fantastic in all your colors. And so now you don't need a water source and you can have water to drink. I am so impressed. I mean, we're talking like really overwowed. Okay, the next one is the refrigerated, um, uh, where is it? Feeding trough. Here it is, refrigerated feeding trough. The icon shows that it looks like the other troughs, but when you get it going, it does not. So over here on this side, it will put, see if you can, if you look down here, see the meat and, and all that over here, you've got like, uh, it looks like potatoes or something. So this side, it's going to be putting in the beer, the flowers, the miscellaneous, the, you know, the mushrooms. And over here, it's going to be putting in the meat, the sweet cakes, everything. It, they actually uh, craft it where you know this each side is different so now uh turn on and um let's see here uh, so there is nothing in here so i can't pull because it oh it says you need to select an item in the target inventory so i'm going to put a piece of meat in there now it has something in there. I want to, it doesn't matter if it goes in the refrigerated part, whether it's a blue flower or a, I don't care, it, it's going in there. Okay, so if we need it, if we want to put long grass over here, uh, 1,600, 1,600 long grass in here. So which side did it fill up? Oh, it didn't show that it filled up either side. Huh. Oh, okay. Well, uh, how about um, some raw meat? Raw meat. So, uh, see, I have eight, a lot of them, huh? Uh, okay, so I'm going to put raw meat in here. And I'm going to put some um, amber berries. Let's put 4,000 of them in here. There, now. See? It shows. See? Isn't that cool? Huh. Well, that's looking really weird, huh? What that is. Who knows? I just find it beautiful. I think it's really, really fun. Oh, it, this side's empty. That's why it looks like that. Oh, okay. Ah, all right. I, I don't know why it looks like it's empty, but okay. <laughs> um, it would be nice if I could get it up. All right, and then 
So if I had some mushrooms or something, I don't think I have any mushrooms or flowers here. A rare flower. Oh, I do. I don't have any rare mushrooms. I was thinking it would fill it up on this side, but it doesn't. So it looks like, I don't know what it looks like. Hmm. Okay, now, in your kitchen, you're going to need your little refrigerators. So let's put in our refrigerator. And of course. Now, after all that work, I need to put the refrigerators here. Okay, so here's a little refrigerator, a little tiny refrigerator right here. E. And these don't snap. So you're kind of on your own uh, about putting them in. Uh, I'm going to put K down so that when I get that next one, and then move it over. And then put the fr and the freezer goes on top. One of the players named Shivana told me she goes and the freezer goes on top. I didn't even know it. I was so excited about the refrigerator having a little light on it. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is so cool. And what am I doing? See the little green light? At nighttime, it really lights up. You know, sort of like a night light. So, darling. So now you have your refrigerator and it has a freezer and I don't know what everything is for, but oh, we're stuck. Must be saving. Not gone. Okay. So then what else is next? Oh, I can't get my inventory either. So now I can. Okay. So, um, gosh, this, let's see here. A turret genie. When you want to load up all of your ammo in your turrets, you have a turret genie. And does not have power. Show the fill range. That means how far away that the fabricator would have to be. But it doesn't say fill the uh, turret genie. You have to do it by hand, which I think is kind of odd because you don't really have um, a way to pull advanced rifle bullets. We don't have a way to pull anything like that. So I want to oh, put those in here because I didn't have anything that was, you know, in here. Okay, so. Let's see if it's going to pull the gunpowder. See, the, uh, the chemistry bench quit working. If it was still making gunpowder, it wouldn't have worked. It, that's what I have noticed. It's beyond me. Okay, so let's make another thousand. Oh, we can only make another 673. All right. Then you go over here to here. And you can just say uh, transfer all because it's only going to take the advanced rifle bullet. And then you say fill turrets and automatically fills your turrets. So instead of having to go to every single one of your turrets, it will automatically do it. And I just think that for the hassle of not having to go up on the roof, it is an amazing accomplishment. Okay, so now... We've got our little refrigerator, freezer going. Um, I have the ability to drink water right here. Did I turn that on? I did, look. It's saying this is the area I can fill the turrets in. 
Wow, that's a wide area, huh? So you'd have to have these scattered around. Okay, so um, turn off turrets, turn on turrets, turn off turrets. <gasps> Adjust the range. Turn on turrets. You can have a pin code. Hide the fill range. Oh my gosh. I am so impressed. Oh my gosh. So it will turn off and on your turrets. So you can have people over and turn off all your turrets and it won't kill them. Hey, I'm just going with the flow here. <laughs> I don't have a clue. Okay, so then you have the a cool, um, where is the egg collector? Na, 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 na. The veggie crate. This is the one I want to put down. I thought this thing was going to be humongous. What is it? It's like to 90 little. Look at that. It even goes on top of something. I didn't know that. I thought it went on the floor all the time. Look. And it picks up all of the fruits and vegetables, which means that you don't need uh, her anymore. And uh, she only has 10 jars of beer left because the beer wasn't working the other day. So if I put this in here. Isn't this nice? Give me my canteen back. And while we're here, I'll just fill that up. There we go. And um, probably took my meat too a bit. Where's my meat? There's my meat right here. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see what else you have in here. Okay, so I've got some mutton and meat and I have fish. I don't have any prime meat. Over here I have berries, uh, spoiled meat and cooked fish. I put my organic polymer, which I have too much of. And then here's an egg crate that is going to pick up eggs. It has picked up all these dodo eggs since yesterday. And by the way, you can eat a dodo, uh, a dodo egg for extra health and nutrition. Dillow egg keeps coming in there, huh? Dodo. There you go. Oh, it doesn't let me eat anymore? Of course it does. So if you don't have any meat, you can eat eggs. And I'm too heavy. Way too heavy. Da -da -da -da. Nothing like living in an upstairs apartment, huh? Okay, so I think that it's still one on the other side of this. Let's see here. Uh, if I took this off. I can put the grill right behind it. Where's my grill? So much littler than the other one. Look at that powered. Turn it on and put in the fish and the meat and the mutton. You know, if you have too much fish or mutton and you need the meat to do your dinos, you can eat cooked fish and cooked mutton just fine. I mean, it's an alternate. 
I hope it cooks it. I've never I've never checked it out. It's not cooking the mutton. Does it cook a mutton in a regular one? Well, now there's a question of the century. Okay, here's the hot dehydrator. Um, this is an automatic dehydrator. Move over a little bit so I can get in to, over here. Uh, turn it on. And um, it uh, store your perishables to preserve. Uses electricity to make cooked meat into jerky. So you could actually just put your stuff in here just for preserving. It's what it kind of intimates, right? You could just put your perishables in there and you turn the electricity on to make the a jerky uh, meat into jerky. Fascinating. Okay, so. Sorry, I have to. <laughs> it's got the better of me here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, in a grill. Oh, I don't have my grill here? Ah! Oh, I thought I left everything here. Oh, wow. Um, let's see here. Do I have anything to make a grill with? Um, I do. And since it's S plus, I can make it right in here. And uh, it would need um, <laughs> cementing paste and metal. So good thing for all the Akatina paste that we brought. And then metal ingots. I have gazillions over here. I mean. I, I kind of went nuts before I realized that it was PVP and I needed to stop getting things. Okay, and then let's just make one. Okie dokie. Put it down here. Gee, I was thinking if you could uh, cook uh, your uh, mutton, you could have it, you know? I'll be darned. It doesn't cook it either. So there's no way that you could be eating uh, mutton. It doesn't cook it. Well, that's interesting. Cooks raw food. See? It is not cooking the raw food. And then in here you have your turn off button. I'm not getting ready of any of my S plus stuff, by the way. And then, uh, huh, so, I don't think there's any animal that I know of that uses raw mutton uh, just out of the trough. But you're going to find you're going to have hardly any spoiled meat. Because it's refrigerated. So if you have, uh, like I do, uh, I brought over the um, scorpion. You make sure you've got some spoiled meat in there for it. So there is any there. Uh oh. See Sam down there? He's telling us he's going to rain. Huh. I love the Jeroboas. They opened up scorched earth over here. So now we have scorched earth. And um, the Jeroboas are all working. Does it rain over here when it rains there? I don't know. But it was raining over there. Yep, it certainly does. 
nice to have a Jeroboa. Don't forget to take one if you're on scorched earth because it tells you the weather and you don't want to be caught out in some of the kind of weather there is. Okay, so we have a compost bin, we have a dehydrator working, we have the turret genie, we have the fertilizer silo up and running. Um, of course it's downstairs, but we're just pretending here. So can I pull the fertilizer for him? So it won't let me pull from other fertilizer uh, silos. Only from, um, probably from here, huh? And this hasn't made any yet. Oh, here. You can have that. I've been running around with it. Okay, so um, this cooks really quickly. So you can eat fish, cooked fish, take it with you. I save your meat in your new refrigerator. Uh, Shivana said she's putting her uh, eggs in the freezer. And it's pretty interesting because, eh, let's put down our egg crate here. Because it pulls eggs. Eggs. Oh, where's my egg one? I didn't put it down already, did I? No, it's down here. So do I start an egg one in here? There it is. I made 22 of them and an incubator. Well, I can't wait to see how fast the incubator works. Okay, so if you have an egg crate down, it's going to pick up all the eggs that are dropped down all around here. And if you put in a dodo egg, the time on it is 5,000 days. I mean, that's a lot of years. You know, there's 365 days a year. And, you know, three years is what? Three, six, only 1,000 times five is 15 years. And um, then in a regular refrigerator or something, you know, it doesn't last that long. But in a freezer, in the refrigerator, it's going to last... 666 days, but in the freezer, it's going to last 666 days. Oh, still in the refrigerator. How do I get to the freezer here? There we go. Oh, a different sound. 5,000. So in the freezer, the egg crate and the freezer give you exactly the same type of time. I noticed that yesterday when I was piddling around with it. So I was kind of shocked, like, oh. But you got to read. When when they're stacked, like the Smithicator and stuff, you have to read everything now. So we'll put in our food, dodo egg food. Um, we can eat dodo eggs. Eat it to gain tremendous nourishment or use it in recipes. See? Check it out. And then go over here to our cool cauldron. Now we don't need to have water racing around everywhere. I am just totally blown away about that. Can you put your... Um, uh, I'll have to wait. I'll, I'll drink out of my canteen. I'll put my canteen in there and see if it fills it up. That would be interesting to see. I mean, if you're going to use something, you might as well know everything about it. Okay, uh, what else we got? So we have uh, the dehydrator, the compost bin. Oh, let's get rid of this little guy here. Okay, uh, I don't know what the egg incubator looks like. Oh, it almost looks just like normal, huh? You wouldn't want to do that out here, though. You want to do it someplace where you could raise a baby. Unpowered. Oh, so see, it is just really short area. Wow. So you'd have to have another generator going. Man, I think that this corner would be okay. I think this, it, 
admit because we don't have his power. Oh, how pretty. Isn't that neat? This is really beautiful. This is really fun, huh? Let's get a picture of it for, um, for the stream. I just think it's so cool. I mean, it just looks so nice, huh? I don't think I can get everything now. Oh yeah, I guess I can. That's a nice picture. There we go, I'll use that one. Okay, so... What else you got? Uh, I just drank water. Hundred and fourteen point eight. Hundred and fourteen point seven is not drinking it. How about that? It's not drinking the water. Oh my god, it's not drinking it. It says it will. Will it fill it up? No, nope. well, so it's not a good water source, guys. Too bad. Not now. It's not working. So you're going to have to have water tanks like normal, or use, uh, you know pipe water up like I did. I'll be. Okay, we already have a dodo egg. Isn't that cute? Huh, so that's um, interesting. Now the grinder is totally different than our grinder from downstairs. Our grinder downstairs like grinds everything. I mean, it just grinds everything. But this grinder It only grinds a uh, thatch and flint. Picks up dropped items to grind. Grind all button. Grinds ingots and can use electricity. Best used with vaults for sorting. Grinds ingots. Uh, so I put a grinding bench in here. She doesn't tell me. It doesn't. There's no place where it says to grind it. If I have something in there, right? You could grind tools. See, there's no place it says turn it on to grind. So I don't think that one's working so hunky-dory. See, and it's turned on too. So it's just not working. So the grinder's out for right now. Can't use it. So that kind of took care of that. So we have the egg crate. Okay, and then the workbench, which is the hub of the whole thing, is too cool. Look at this workbench. Look at that. Isn't that the neatest? I just think it's cool. At nighttime, I noticed it, um, or maybe it's just on one side. Oh, it's just on this side, where the... Uh, 
the light is going up and down the sides. Ah, so it's in the front. I'll have to get kill so much of this. These photos. Okay, so um, yeah. So the side that works is this is the front. They just made it look too cool. And uh, you can pull the inventory and then you can craft. Uh, the spoiling bin, the oil drum. Let's go see what those do. Let's see. We noticed that that isn't an area that's working. So um, let's see here. Uh, oil drum. Oh, it's so little. Oh, it looks like a real oil drum. Ha! Okay, so uh, collects oils from nearby dinos and organic oils last longer. Well, I'll be. I guess you could put one down on the beach. That looks like a real oil drum, doesn't it? That's pretty uh, cool. And then here's a uh, meat spoiler. Some people really need that. I never do. And then all you do is I guess you put raw meat in it, right? Uh, spoils meat at an increased rate and makes spoiled meat last longer. Okay, so... So we are going to see... Does it spoil mutton? This might be a good thing to use mutton for, huh? Wow, look at that. Ah, so if you have a ton of mutton that you don't know what to do with, put it in here. Okay, now a spoiled meat in here lasts um, 10 days. And then in here lasts one day. Oh. Man, that is a lot longer. 149 spoiled. <laughs> that is um, way fast. Okay, so in the freezer, it'll last seven days. And in the refrigerator, it'll last one day. Wow, that is a long time. Ten days. Uh, it is making it at a huge rate. Gosh, I've got tons of mutton. Oh, I don't know what to do with. And now I know what to do with it. Look at how it's going down. Wow. Piece by piece. Look at that. Oh, well, you guys, now you know what to do with all the mutton you got. Okay, so here it's going to be nice because I can just go right from here. Oh, look at how cool is this. Look. Look. It's got little uh, pretend uh, storages down there. I love it, so... Let me take the cook stuff out of here and put it over here because you can eat cooked fish you know I'll just take it with us and eat it and then we'll put the cooked meat in here and we've already made five jerky that's insane this would be great for a uh, prime meat Wow. And I guess if you had one of these really close to the coast, it would pick up the oil from some of the fish. So there you guys go. If you want to get the AA mod, everything works, it looks like, except that industrial grinder. And um, the generator, remember, only has a certain area. And it, 
you can't put uh, internal wiring in it. And then here's our crops are going to be all full all the time. Your, your crops won't die. You have a, an all the time water supply. And look, they just picked the corn. Oh my God. Is it in here? <gasps> look, it's in here. Oh my God. So, um, now will this cauldron, this is just, we're practicing here. We're, we don't know. Okay, so let's look at the cauldron again. Cauldron. I don't have any more. Maybe there's one down here because I put one down here because I didn't know. So um, let's just get this one. Uh oh. Where did I put the. Oh, number six. If I can get it right. Okay, and then this has. Uh, A lot of eggs. We can't pull any eggs, though. So. Parasaur. That's just picking them up from around here. So this is picking them up from the area. And then I had a refrigerator that I could just take them. But in here, see, the spoil timer is 5,214 days is nowhere near that in their fridge. It's in the freezer that that you would get the same results. I don't know uh, how long it would take to fill this up. Probably a really long time. So, let's see, we have uh, power over here, right? Uh, I don't know if the if this is powered or not. Unpowered. So it wants to have that other kind of generator. So it doesn't power up like from the uh, floor. Hmm. Huh. Fascinating. Oh, look at that. We just missed it. Oh, well. well let's get it and move it. I don't know how you, uh, I guess you don't get water to it. Okay. So if I put in a dodo, a parasaur, and a packy egg. Okay, so I want to make parasaur kibble. I'm going to need cooked meat, fiber, long grass, and mayo berries. So I'm going to need cooked meat. A little bit of fiber. A few little mayo berries. What's that other one? Long grass. Corn.
craft six. Oh, it does it. Okay, so it does work. I was wondering if it was going to work. You never know. Okay, and then in here it keeps for 299 days. Jeez Louise. Uses electricity to make all recipes very quickly. Does not require a water source and can be used as a water source, which, as we found out, you cannot use it as a water source. Let's say drink water. And you still need water. But you can eat cooked fish. Too bad about the mutton, though. So your muttons, you're just going to have to use it for other things. Okay. And then up here, I've got water everywhere. Coming from my little dot. I have a little lake down there. See it? You can see it is brown. It's, it's just a little tiny lake on the sand. And um, works out great. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here. So I got this uh, garden up here. And then I I uh, pipe the, the water up there, and then I pipe the water all through down here, as you can see. And then I piped, um, it's all from this little, uh, tiny lake here. And here is the intake right there, and then I put a foundation on it. I could put another foundation on it if I wanted to totally uh, hide it from, uh, in a minute enemies so uh it's uh it's all internal piping see this is where it starts this one's not water because it the intake goes right to here see so i had the pipe i had the pipe come in it goes into the first way down there see it and then, so down there, it's got a water uh, pipe, internal water pipe. And then up here, it's got internal piping also. Two places. Okay, and then let's put that back. If I can find it. It's right here. Okay. And then, uh, here we go. And then if I... If, you know, if you had, uh, you could put a, you know, you could even put this over it. I mean, I'd put another foundation, but if you couldn't, you could hide it at least. Not everybody's going to go around and look. And then these finally started working, which I am just delighted about. I don't know if I have any beer. Uh, I don't have any down here at all. Okay, so. There we go. Now, one thing that that, uh, that uh, silo does, the fertilizer silo, it actually does take a fertilizer that has been made out of any type of compost bin. So my regular normal compost bins down there, um, they, it's taking the fertilizer from them. Look at it. It's growing. Look at the little pieces of corn. Isn't that cute? It looks like they... They made it the old-fashioned kind, like, oh, no, I guess not. No, it's, it's all yellow corn. Because, uh, you know, the um, Native American Indians had colored corn. It was yellow and uh, dark, like, almost a purple and really pretty. Okay, so <clears throat> that's the AA mod. So if you have it, remember, there's a few things that aren't working. I wouldn't, um, even when we got S plus last year, there were a lot of glitches. 
but to begin with. So if this is updated and you lose something, if I were you, I wouldn't put my most precious eggs in the refrigerator, my most precious belongings in these uh, vaults yet. I'd tab. You could take a whole bunch of these and add, you know have them everywhere, you know, for resources, and then have your regular vault for your uh, I don't know maybe your ascendant gear, uh, black pearls that you know hard to come by, just you know. Stuff like that. Just look how fast that was. That's insane, huh? So that's turned off. And um, I'm just going to let this, this make cooked meat for kibble. I have so much kibble, though, it's insane. And uh, I just love this. And then we've got my, our dodo egg. How cute. And then we're not going to get any of that. I would like to go to the swamp and uh, put one of those in. That would be so cool. And uh, let's keep crafting gunpowder. Wow, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm stopping for a minute thinking about pulling it downstairs, but I'll wait. Okay, and let's go over here. You're not going to be able to pull the gunpowder now. You just know it. I did, I did, I did. So the gunpowder will not be able to be pulled. Six. Oh, because I'm in the smithicator. Ugh. So, no, it's not going to let me. Let's see. Until that other one is finished and stopped, I don't think it will even let me uh, do it in um, gee. Ah, there's our dear boa going again. Have you ever seen him on Scorched Earth? There he is. Oh, he's not going to do it again. Must already be having it. I was going to show you all the different kinds of things, the movements and everything they have. Aren't they cute? so cute okay so and leave my bird here too alrighty so I'm good uh, let's see I've had this here for two days and it's made exactly eight spoiled meat <laughs> like zip zip on the spoiled meat We may be having rain here, but on scorched earth, that sounded like a thunderstorm. Uh, Jeroboas have four distinct sounds and four distinct positions. Uh, one position and one sound for each weather type. Okay, so I wanted to show you the AA mod. I did. I uh, do believe that it's going to need a little bit of extra work. Uh, it's uh, just come out. Um, I hope that it's kept up. Because uh, I really would like to see that um, Wildcard picks it up and helps it. Uh, it's just a fantastic mod. It might make things so too easy in uh, something that's supposed to be more primitive. I don't know. But just in case you ever use it, Remember, just to make the table, you have everything available. There's no, like, electronics or black pearls or anything. It, you would just need to make the generator. And remember, you'd have to make more than one generator to power everything. I love you guys. I'll see you soon, probably.
uh, do another one tonight. And um, I love you. God bless you. Take good care of your health. And if you have like me and having problems because something was supposed to be easy, don't get depressed. Don't even worry about it. Everything is going to just work out just fine. I will um, be on um, probably at 8 o'clock tonight. But I did want to just do this short uh, mod uh, expo and try everything out. I, I'm fascinated. It's, it's going to be fun to have. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you tonight. Bye-bye.